how you doing everyone this is Steve here once again another guitar video for you and today's video is actually a follow-up that I did to it was actually the second video I ever put on YouTube and it was about how to build speed on guitar now I'm gonna be talking to you about something else here in this video um, that's to do with that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link on the screen now to part one because if you haven't watched that I talk about you know the various hand placements and techniques and stuff so I don't want to waste time going over that again so um, go watch part one and I'll see you in a bit welcome back alright so I'm going to assume that you've just watched part one so let's carry on and talk about what I want to talk to you about which is coordination getting both your hands in sync now all the stuff I'm going to talk to you about you know whether you're right-handed left-handed doesn't make any difference what you want to start to do when it comes to coordinating your hands is you've got to think about what each hand is actually doing when you're playing stuff that's quick I'm going to grab my guitar here and show you what I'm talking about so we look at the picking hand okay well your picking hand when you think about it and you really break it down, it hasn't got to do a very difficult job. It's only ever going to do one or two things. You're either going to play a downstroke or you're going to play an upstroke. And um, that's about it. <laughs> that really is it. That's all it does. It's your fretting hand that's got to fly about and hit all of these notes. And what often happens is because this hand develops quicker, and what I want you to do here, actually, before I play the, the, you an example, I want you to think about your hands as being like a set of scales, okay? You know, and what you're trying to do is balance, balance them out. Now, if you're uncoordinated and your hands are unbalanced, mostly, as I say, in favour of the picking hand, so the balance is going to be like this, what you often hear are, you know, fast guitar playing that sounds a little bit like this. Okay, now look, I mean, I'm not saying that that, you know, that necessarily sounds bad, because it doesn't, but let me grab my guitar again and show you exactly what I mean. So, if we break down what happened in that example, the picking hand is going absolutely crazy like this. Well, by contrast, the fretting hand is doing this. etc etc so as you can see just this hand on its own speed wise is not exactly going to blow anybody away because you're not actually playing that fast it's this hand that's doing all of the work so what you have to do is you have to start working on exercises and you have to work this is the most important thing and look I know I know I'm I, this sorry I'm gonna have to be another one of those people on YouTube that tells you all the stuff you don't want to hear which is to play slowly with a metronome now look I know you know when I was a kid learning I didn't want to hear that either okay all I wanted to know was the secret well here you go people this is why we all tell you to do it it's because we're right and it's because it works it really really does and it's just going to get you to where you want to go in a quicker amount of time than if you don't practice with a metronome. It really is. And that's, you know, there's, there's, there's not really a lot more I can say about it. So when you get to the point where your hands are coordinated, your playing will start to turn into something a little bit, you know, like this. Okay, so let's explain what I was doing that time. So once again, my picking hand was still going pretty quick as it was in the previous example, but the difference was my fretting hand was keeping up with it. So every time I picked, I was hitting a different note every time because I've worked on getting both my hands coordinated. And you know, it's it's not easy to do. It took me a long, long time to get to the point where, where I am now. But that is one of the, the top top things that I recommend working on. If you really do want to take your speed plane to that, you know, next level, you know, again, think about your hands, that set of scales, okay? You're trying to balance them out. 
and you know when it will get to the point where they will balance out and even if they get balanced out but you're still not as fast as where you want to that doesn't matter as long as they're balanced out the more you practice that you know playing with your hands balance the speed over time will just start to increase so there you are people there's a bit more advice for you okay so i really hope that you've enjoyed watching that if you have please like and subscribe to the channel and i will be back with you very soon okay everyone thanks for watching take it easy keep practicing bye bye